How are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Sam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fit. <laughs> anywhere before. Flying was really neat. You're really gonna love the festival, Freddy. It's the greatest! Just like you. <laughs> there will be visitors from around the world at the Founders Day Festival. That foreign language phrasebook could really come in handy. Right is right, Freddy. It's all yours. As soon as you give me one R and C urchin, that is. Hey, Pelican Sam, here's a riddle. What kind of fish can you catch in a delicatessen? Give up a pickerel. You can catch a pickerel in a delicatessen store? Yeah, a dill pickerel. Boy, Luther, you're lucky you're friends with Freddy. Day Festival, it's going to be a blast! That looks like something expensive! Yikes! I almost lost a pin! <sighs> Not trying that again! Not without something to keep that clam from snapping shut! old fishing net is blocking our path. I wonder how we can get past it. Hmm, I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. Great job! I knew you could pull it up. Get it? Pull? Up? Oh, Luther. I'd better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blanny? Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horst Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old Soggy Sniffer ain't what it used to be. 
But if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. Okay, old Soggy. What do we do when we find the bad guy? <laughs> But are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. When Pierre men sing syrup, it's better than new. So if something was torn into a million billion teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Be sure. With my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. <laughs> I do not have time for the rubber knickers. Huh? I haven't worn rubber knickers since I was a baby. Luther, he said rubber knickers, not rubber knickers. Oops, silly me. I'm glad you're my best buddy, Luther. The tension is so thick, you can cut it with a knife. I just wanted to say that. No special reason. Our founder is one of the most beloved figures in our town's history. Without him, our town would not even exist. Oh, <laughs> 
Freddy, how come there are no pink polka dotted sea urchins? But there are. They live in the secret sea where everything is pink and polka dotted. You just made that up, didn't you? Uh huh. Ready? There's something behind that waterfall. White! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Whew! That knocked the wind out of me. Me too. We're just gonna have to find another way to get to that waterfall. Freddy, this log looks kinda like a tunnel. And it seems to be stuck in the mud. Ah. Oh. Ah. Woo. with it, Luther. Good, honest work is a true key to success. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> you know what my favorite food is? Worm doodles! Mm-mm-mm! Well, I can see we won't be getting together for dinner anytime soon. By the way, name's Magenta. I'm Luther, and this is Freddy Fish. Would you like to try a banana? No thanks. I already had a big bowl of krill toasties for breakfast. How I do love a good adventure. Uh, excuse me. That's not going to work, Luther. That foreign tourist can understand what you're saying. It's a good thing we got here when we did. Without our help, who knows what would happen to Uncle Blenny? Why did you steal the great conch shell? No, no, pretty but you said Brevin and Yavra. But he was too good, but we used to be a poor name, of course not. It's a purple sea urchin. I knew that. I just like to say Snaboopy Pop. Snaboopy Pop. Snaboopy Pop. Snaboopy Pop. Hey, look! 
There are loads of orange sea urchins in this wallet. We're rich, rich, rich! This wallet doesn't belong to us, Luther. According to this identification card, it belongs to someone who used to be the Grand Exalted Keeper of the Conch. I'll hold on to it until we can find the owner. I am humongous. Luther, no! Ouch! If we want those pliers, we'll have to find a safer way to get them out of that plant. A little green squirt and little goody two fins. Hey, I have more than two fins. That lobster is not very friendly. Bullies scare me, Freddy. Don't worry, I'll protect you, Luther. Yeah, well. We still need to find three golden pipes. under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. How oh, I do love a good adventure. Looking for fun? Got four purple sea urchins just burning a hole in your pocket. Then step right up to Gilbarker's fantastic floating fun. You can have more fun than a barrel of Orion ship. Just pay, then play. Hey, hey, what do you say? I just flew in on a manta ray. Wow, 
Wow, it's a grandma grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Look, Freddy, I found a purple sea urchin. Toss it over here and I'll hang on to it for later. Good work, Luther. I wish they had a fun house like this where we live. Freddy, you're my best friend. nine drum rhythms we can play. The organ knows a lot of songs. We can record nine songs. We'll need to record a song before we can listen to it. We can change the kind of sound the organ makes.
car soon parted. Sorry, that should be money, not monkey. <laughs> Going belly up at parties is scoring the only thing you spawn. Well, don't get in a snit when you can score a hit here at Gil Barker's Floating Pond. If you've got four purple sea urchins, just fork over the dough and in you go. You'll come out a winner or my name isn't Broccoli Bob. But your name isn't Broccoli Bob. Don't bother me with details, son. Sir, we found a wallet. Are you trying to bribe the world-famous Gil Parker? Well, I'll tell you, you guppies won't be getting the best of me. No, ma'am, you won't. Freddy, maybe we should hold on to the wallet ourselves. We'll find the owner, Luther. You'll see. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. Gee, what's the matter? It's this thing stuck on my tooth. Only 1% of Lady Narwhals grow a tooth, you know. But now it's ruined, defaced by this metal nut. How'd that nut get stuck on there? More to the point, how will I ever get it off? Come on, Luther. Let's lend a fin. Oh dear, my beautiful tooth. Don't worry, we'll find a way to remove that nut. Did you lose a wallet? I don't think so. Well, I guess it's ours then. Luther! This way to last year's ride, the legendary Terrific Tumble Tubes! Look, Freddy! It's a purple sea urchin! Got it! When I want to go down to the bottom of the sea, I go swim around at the bottom of the sea. Won't you come join me? Oh, at the bottom of the sea. Down here. Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. Don't go swimming too close to my door Down in the deep blue sea I'm a finny fish whose bite is worse Than his bark will ever be Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor Unless you wanna mess with me Well dive down deep into the murky sea well, that's where you run into me I'm a cool catfish with an attitude I got plenty of style to make you feel so cool Come take a swim in the blue I'll make you feel so cool Oh, oh.
help vines. I sure wouldn't want to get my tail caught in that clam's sharp scissor-like jaws. <clears throat> These kelp vines are too thick for us to get past. Find someone who likes to eat this type of kelp, then we can get through this doorway. When I want to go down to the bottom of the sea, I go swim around at the bottom of the sea. Won't you come join me? It's a wallet that it's a wallet that belongs to a middle-aged balding fish who wears brown glasses and looks awfully familiar. Hey. Here's a purple sea urchin. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. Flip the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away.
Here we go again! Such a good job helping me. Please take an orange sea urchin for your trouble. Thanks a lot. Just one? Luther, say thank you. Thank you, Uncle Blenny. are worth a lot. Like this. 
so that foreign language phrase book for one orange sea urchin, Sam. I'd rather get a snack, but an orange sea urchin will do. Thanks a lot, Sam. We'll put this to good use. This plastic shovel isn't strong enough to keep the clam from clamming up. It's a drain plug. It's a foreign language break. I've seen around town has been the foreign tourist, Horst Feathers. Push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Oh. We're really making headway. Keep pushing. Oh. Can't stop pushing. Must keep moving forward. A brainstorm. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. We should get moving and catch that beat. From the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentlefish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed!
ma fuori! show so far. Hey, let's make some noise out there! show so far. and send it into the home office. Then you wait for a long time and hope that one day we'll call you. That sounds like a long process. But it's a good one. Where were you when the great conch shell was stolen? I was right here, honey doll. Rehearsing with my world-famous luau show performers. Guppy's up to? 
We have to find a stolen conch shell and get my Uncle Blenny out of jail. Sounds like you've got your hands full. Good luck. Freddy, I can't understand a word that foreign tourist is saying. Maybe we can find the language he's speaking in this foreign language phrase book. May we please have the Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? I guess that wasn't his language. May we please have the Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? We'll have to find the right flag before we can talk to each other. That one sure wasn't it. May we please have the Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? We'll have to find the right flag before we can talk to each other. That one sure wasn't it. The flag that's selected in the foreign language phrase book doesn't match the flag on this bag. Maybe I should pick a different flag. Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag. So, the Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving horse feather so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. Thank you, Mr. Feather, sir. It's a Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper. Getting the pliers could be some tricky business. I think you mean prickly business, Freddy. It's a Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gap. It's a drain plug. It's a Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper. Monkeys, some of my best friends. I predict that phrase book is going to make this a very interesting trip for our friend. Hmm. 
think that will do anything. It's a Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper. <laughs> 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 A Shim Sham Jimmy Jam Clapper Gapper will keep that clam from snapping shut. Okay, Luther, I'm gonna need your help. Righto, Freddy! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I got a golden pipe! I don't care what anyone else says, you're a good fish. Now we need just two more golden pipes for old Dolly to pick up the scent. It's a drain plug. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. <sighs> so, how's the investigation going? We don't have all the golden pipes yet, but we're close. Thanks, nephew. You've got to give old Soggy all three golden pipes, or else he can't pick up the thief's scent. The great conch that our founder holds is central to the Founder's Day Festival. A blast from the great conch begins the celebration. Did you see anything unusual near the great conch shell yesterday? Could be wrong, son, but I do declare. I believe I saw rosy pearls swimming by near there. We have one golden pipe. is tied up. He looks hungry. It's a drain clock. Luther, we fed. <laughs> Look, Luther, the doorway's clear. Swell. <laughs> Freddy, it's the terrific tumble tubes! I won't fit in these tubes, Luther, but you can go. A work glove, Freddy. The label says it's extra padded for insulation and safety. This old glove might just come in handy. 
It's a drain plug. I think this makes you go through the tubes twice. and get my Uncle Blenny out of jail. Sounds like you've got your hands full. Good luck. It's a drain plug. A heavy duty glove can protect me from that prickly plant. All set. Stand back, citizen. This is a job for mighty fish. Luther, you got the pliers, but are you okay? Swell, but next time I'm using a stunt double. I wish I could get this metal nut off my tooth. Just hold still, mating. We'll have that nut off in two shakes of a guppy's tail. 
Shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. As far as I'm concerned, a fish is just the right thing to be. Hang on to that gem, Luther. We'll need to put it back into its setting once I get you out of there. Please hurry, Freddy! Why there's a hole in the statue's hand? Oh, that's a gorgeous shade of red. I hope this doesn't set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. This red crystal could really come in handy if I could only break it loose. There must be another way to get this crystal. Thank <laughs> you. 
beautiful blue. Uh, oh, uh, this blue crystal could really come in handy. If only I could break it loose. We'll need more than golden pipes if... It might come in handy. Sure gives off a lot of light. That could come in very handy indeed. Drop this bag! <gasps> Look! 
Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. No conch shell means no festival. And I just polished my tooth. Oh, the colossal irony of it all. I here came too for this? Disappointed my old silver-haired granny will be. If not snapshot, I bring back from festival. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bomb a piece of my mind. Please help me! Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent. <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found this claw-shaped boxing glove, which means the thief is... You're the thief. Oh, that could have been anybody's claw-shaped boxing glove in that bag. You ain't got nothing on me. Ouch! Oh, no? <laughs> okay, okay. So maybe you do have something on me. I confess. The guys at the bullies club made me do it. They're even bigger bullies than I am. Claw, you can't blame someone else for the things that you do wrong. You should know that no matter what anyone else says, it's just plain wrong to steal. I've been a selfish shellfish. I'm sorry. He's the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand exalted keeper of the conch. Thanks to Freddy and Luther. Oh, and old Soggy. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, oh grand exalted keeper of the conch. Claw was convicted of violating Penal Code 119 for having a really bad attitude. As punishment, he was sentenced to take remedial classes in ballet for bullies, and has to wear a tutu and little pink dance slippers to school for a whole year. Case closed.
stop playing? Do you wanna stop playing?